Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with some baseball insight that's just a bit outside for making the cut on my daily and weekly videos and shows that I do here. I wanted to give you some bonus content this week with a quick hitter video. Going to look at how teams fare against right-handed and left-handed pitching. There's some teams that have extreme dichotomies, much better or worse when righties or lefties are on the mound. I'm going to give you a few of those teams here in just a moment. Also going to take a look at the current odds to win Cy Young and MVP in each league. Some interesting thoughts there. A couple guys are running away with those races. I want to get your thoughts as well. Hey, speaking of which, comment below. Leave me your thoughts and comments on all these videos. And let me know what you think about this baseball season. Also, let me know what you think about the upcoming NFL preseason, which is just around the corner. Starts this week as well. Hey, if you're taking a serious long-term investment approach, you really should consider a direct subscription. And make sure that you get all of my best bets on a daily basis. Special price right now for seven days of MLB, just $79. That's every best bet that I'm personally using. Same games that my clients get each and every day for one low price. Get seven days for $79. No promo code needed. Go to my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. All right, look, I gave you a general midseason report a couple weekends ago before the All-Star break. I talked about, you know, some play-on situations and whatnot. Go back and watch that. That's archived here on Wager Talk TV. But one angle I haven't looked at this year is, and it's something I look at in general, and you have, there's different ways to look at it, and that's how teams do against right-handed pitchers versus left-handed pitchers. And obviously, it's going to vary based on the pitcher and also who's in the lineup. But as a big picture, you know, we've got almost 100 games now under the belt for all these teams. And after this weekend, basically everyone ha will have played 100-plus games. OPS, on-base plus slugging, is a very good overall offensive metric. You can look at batting average, you can look at slugging on-base, but on-base plus slugging percentage, known as OPS, is a great overall barometer of offensive ability, especially after 100-plus games. So what I wanted to do here real quick in a few minutes is look at which teams have really had a big dichotomy, a big variance between their righty versus lefty stats. Um, first of all, the two worst teams heading into the weekend against left-handed pitching this year, and this isn't just left-handed starters. Be very careful because some websites will have left-handed starter stats, and that's fine and dandy, but that's like half a game, right? It's not how you go against all left-handers. So... I like to try to look at overall numbers. Uh, the worst team hitting left-handers this year in all games has been the Miami Marlins. And um, that's not a surprise. Miami has been a pretty weak offensive team at times, but it's still a pretty big split. They have the worst OPS. The only team below 600 OPS against lefties is the Miami Marlins. But then you look at how they do they go against right-handers. They're 15th. They're dead middle of the pack out of 30 teams. So they've been much better against righties and lefties. Cleveland Guardians, the second worst team heading into the weekend against lefties this year as based on OPS. The Guardians, meanwhile, the eighth best team against righties. So that's a pretty big extreme. 30 versus 15 for the Marlins, 29th versus 8th for the Cleveland Guardians. So it's something to keep an eye on when you're handicapping. Um, also, another team that jumped out to me, um, they're not quite in the playoff race, but I've talked about in the last few weeks as maybe a somewhat of an underrated team. And that, of course, is the Texas Rangers. And one of the reasons I say the Rangers could be a little underrated is that they still have a positive run differential for the season, yet they're 10 games below 500, at least heading into Friday night. I'm doing this video on Friday evening as we head into the weekend. Um, and the reason, of course, is that the Rangers have been very, what I think is unlucky in close one-run games this year. Um, heading into Friday, the Rangers were an incredible 5-23 and in games decided by one run. Yet they actually have a decent bullpen. Their overall bullpen stats have been top 10 this year for the most part. So I think a lot of that is just random variance, bad luck. They're just 4-7 and seven in extra inning games. So they've lost a lot of close regular regulation one-run games. I think that evens out. Uh, we talked about it a few weeks ago. Um, it has not evened out. I think it was 4-17. and 17. They've gone 1-6 since, so it's now 5-23. and 23. Still think there's some value with the Rangers here in the second half of the season as they're better than their overall 10 games below 500 record indicates. This is the team that's 39 and 31 in all games decided by two runs or more, but just 5 and 23 in games decided by exactly a single run. I think that evens out here, and there could be some value on the Rangers. And the reason I want to bring them up is because Texas is a team that's been a lot better with lefties on the mound. So I'd say there could be some play-on situations for the Rangers. Definitely look at play-on situations when they're facing a left-handed starter. Now, with the bullpens, we don't know who's coming in, right? So you do have to handicap, you know, assuming they're facing a lefty for half the game. But overall this year, the Rangers, the eighth-best team against left-handed pitchers, OPS, uh, much weaker against right-handers, a uh, 24th. So once again, we go from 8th to 24th lefty versus righty. So that's an example of a team that's been a lot better 
against lefties. I gave you the Marlins and the Guardians better against righties. Texas Rangers better against lefties. Uh, one other team that's been a lot better against right-handed pitchers, and this is a playoff contender, is the Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee 25th against left-handers, 4th best against right-handers on base plus slugging. Once again, 25th lefty, 4th righty. So the Brewers, another team for this video that's been good against right-handers. And I want to talk about the Brewers because I mentioned this last year on some summer videos I did that I said, if Milwaukee wakes the playoffs, they're going to be a very dangerous team because they've got two of the best pitchers in baseball. Same situation again this year. They have a three-game lead on the Cardinals. They should make the postseason. Uh, betting odds make them about minus 200 to win the NL Central. So about a 65, 67% chance they're going to win the division. Burns and Woodruff, two of the best pitchers in baseball, especially Corbin Burns. And if they make the postseason, they're going to have those guys going probably four out of a seven-game series. And as the division winner, they will get to a seven-game series. They don't have to worry about the wild card round. So I think the Brewers... Um, on some futures for the MLB could be worth a look still, even though they're not the best team in the league. They can be a very dangerous playoff team. Same goes for the New York Mets. You know, obviously, Jacob deGrom's the big X factor there. Max Scherzer continues to look incredible. Struck out Aaron Judge three times as they beat them last Tuesday and Wednesday in that two-game set. Obviously, Scherzer is a stud. We've known that for years now, and he's got playoff experience. Need to get deGrom back in the mix, so um, he's going to be making... Some minor league starts just made one this past week. Um, he's very close to returning to the rotation, it looks like. If he stays healthy, boy, the Mets with DeGrom and Scherzer going four or five out of every seven-game series, and if they can hold on to win that division. Uh, really, and I know the Dodgers, I still think the Dodgers are the best team in baseball. They have a huge lead in the West, but Brewers and the Mets are going to be tough with those two-man rotations in the postseason. So really going to be interested in the National League. And if you're looking at futures, you know, I'm not big on the Yankees pitching, but they have such a huge lead now. They're going to be rested heading into the playoffs. The Astros also another double-digit lead in their own division. By the way, uh, the Astros are like 1-100 to at some sports books to win the West. Yankees, 1-25 um, to I've seen in some spots. So they both are running away with those divisions, obviously. You know, the AL, maybe a World Series future bet on the AL and the American League just in general. Could be worth a look because, I mean, the National League's going to really be beating each other up with the Mets, Brewers, and Dodgers. Although I think whoever gets out of there will be the best team. But if you want to take a flyer with a specific team like the Astros or Yankees, they probably have a better chance of getting to the World Series than those National League teams, which are just loaded uh, from top to bottom, those three division leaders currently. Uh, AL Central, the one of the division I didn't mention. Um, right now, the um, Minnesota Twins are still around even money in a lot of sports books to win that division. The White Sox are coming on strong. Guardians making a push, but hard to imagine any team from that division is going to make much noise long-term in the playoffs. By the way, quickly looking at some of the other futures, uh, this is heading into the All-Star break a week ago. You know, these odds have changed slightly since, but um, Shane McCallahan, about 2-1 to one to win the uh, AL Cy Young. He looked really good. He lost on Tuesday to the Orioles. We had a big best bet on Tampa. He gave up only two hits in seven innings. Orioles starter Watkins gives up 10 hits in five innings. The Orioles still found a way to win that game. It's just been remarkable what Baltimore has done this year. Verlander, though, right behind him at two and a half to one. Uh, Verlander went on Friday night. What a great comeback story. This guy didn't throw a single pitch last year in 2021 with Tommy John surgery. Now he has an ERA below two and a whip below one. Hard not to root for Justin Verlander from Richmond, Virginia, by the way. Old Dominion alum. Uh, love to see him do well. Otani, 6-1. to one. Otani was the best pitcher in baseball the last couple months statistically. So three really good names there. Garrett Cole at 12-1. to one. Dylan Cease, I don't think they're going to get it done. Um, National League, as of coming into the second half a week ago, we had uh, Al Contrera minus money, minus 140. He did not look good on Friday night against the Mets this past Friday night. Um, he gave up four runs in the first four innings. So he came back down to earth. Corbin Burns, the Brewers pitcher, I mentioned one of the reasons the Brewers could be live in the postseason. He's at 4-1. to one. And then after that is Joe Musgrove, 12-1. to 1. So it's really a two-man race, Alcantara and Burns. And Alcantara did not look too good. Uh, Alcantara did not look great, at least, on Friday night in that start. But everybody has a bad outing now and then. A uh, regular season home run leader, Aaron Judge was about 1-2. to 2. He's like 1-5 to 5 now, just a week after the break, because uh, he's pulling away from Kyle Schwarber. That's a two-man race. Austin Riley may be in the mix as well. American League MVP, Shohan Atani, minus money in some spots, even money is other, so it's about 50-50 he gets it. Otherwise, it's going to probably be Aaron Judge, who's about one and a half to one. Uh, everybody else is almost double digits, so it's really a two-man race um, for Otani and Judge for the MVP. Hard to argue against that, and it's really 
hard. It's the difference there is Otani is a natural 100 slam dunk MVP like he was last year when he was unanimous. The difference this year is that the Angels aren't any good. He's in trade talks now, um, and Judge is on a really good team. So I think that's the only reason Judge is even in the mix. Otherwise, Otani's an automatic MVP every season. Um, and then finally, for the National League, um, Paul Goldschmidt, he, he's almost even money. He's kind of pulling away as well. Manny Machado, Alonzo's a little bit behind him. Goldschmidt is interesting. He could not play in Toronto earlier this week when the Cardinals went up there because of the vaccine mandate crossing the Canadian border. And it's another reason why the Toronto Blue Jays continue to have a very strong home field above 500, about double digits there, but below 500 on the road this season. Hey, just some general thoughts, some thoughts that were just a bit outside from making the weekly cut on the daily show. Hope you found this video useful, the information useful. And as always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the second half of this baseball season. Also, make sure you hit subscribe. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers here on Wager Talk TV. And hit that bell for instant alerts when all these videos go live, including my NFL Fade the Public video, which will be up in just about a month. NFL regular season just a month away. The preseason starts this week. College football season less than a month away. I'll also have Saturday college football videos as well. So hit subscribe. Hit that bell for instant alerts. Give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments below. And also, don't forget to check out the new Wager Talk app and all app stores for all devices. You can watch these shows on the go on your favorite mobile devices with the Wager Talk app available for download now. Hey, don't forget seven days of MLB for just $79. No promo code needed on my page right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get every one of my best bets for seven days for just $79. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. That MLB special is available right now. Get there quicker with shortcut code wt.buzz slash sm. Thanks for watching. Best of luck. Enjoy these games and check back soon for some more information that might be just a bit outside here on Wager Talk TV.